no William Dunlop, who's dominated the 250s for years. As away we go, we're on board with Jamie Hamilton. William Dunlop has dominated the 250 class at Belan for the last few years. He's not here, of course, he's dislocated his shoulder, hurt his ribs as we go on board with Ryan Barkle from Balakagan. And boom goes Jamie Hamilton. But yeah, so Chris Palmer, even though might be just half second faster than all the other two-stock machines out there, he'll be battling it away with these guys. And well, here he comes on bike five. There are only eight of the 250s, which shows you that they are, in fact, a declining category. Jamie Hamilton and Brian Farquhar had a good ride at the uh, uh, time, uh, and really not only just you know, a uh, great performance for their own, but actually underlined Ryan's determination to get this category of racing organised and accepted. Jamie Hamilton is someone who really has threatened the dominance of Ryan Farquhar, and it has been some dominance these past four years that he's been riding and competing on the Super Twin bikes. No such thing as team orders, of course, in the Iron Dome rules. And it's always nice to get one over on your boss, isn't it? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're on board with Jamie Hamilton, uh, with Ryan Parker, I should say, looking at Jamie Hamilton, looking back at Chris Palmer. Yeah. With Russ Mountford behind him. Yeah. Uh, Roy Richardson there as well, fighting the line for the Orange Ferry. Ian Locker. So then, Ryan Farquhar. Oh, oh it's a bit speedway there from Jamie Hamilton. He was it, mate? <laughs> it was, wasn't it? He really was uh, filling up the back wheel there, sliding it in. So up the church, up to church bench we go. Into the right, the left. Yeah, so nice to ride. And uh, as everybody was saying after that uh, classic uh, first day, it was so much fun to ride because you can ride them to the limit and you can use everything the bike's got to give. Just like a 250, it's exactly the same. And it doesn't tell it smells so much. That's right. And also, and they're so controllable. That's why, that's why, certainly why Ryan Farquhar likes them. He says, you're in charge of the bike, the bike's not in charge of the bike. Chris Palmer is going away from Russ Mountford, is he? They're just about holding their own, aren't they? The fast 250s are in there, but they're so difficult to do. Their uh, Achilles heel now, they are not made anymore. And so, before you write to complain about them being scary, unfortunately, they are a dying breed. And this is as much of a move we're ever likely to see in those races, I think, from now on, especially the way these boys are going. Whereas on the other side of the coin, the 650s are so easy and cheap to uh, maintain and to run and to race to compete on. Oh, and it looks like Russ Mountain could be under pressure from Ivan Linton as they went into Balakagan. That was the battle before. This is the battle for first. Ryan Farquhar, is he just content to let his teammate Jamie Hamilton go all the way around them, mug him at the end? He might just well let him make all the running and uh, wear himself out when he's nice and tired. And remember, this is uh, an eight lap and this battle is still going on. Oh, so much entertainment, round about 56 places a week. Yeah, and Linton goes past Mountford. Just watch the camera vibrate as we go up to the hairpin of Balibert. Oh! Jamie Hamilton, well, points for style. Yes, absolutely, that was definitely 9 out of 10, wasn't it? And Ryan Clark goes back to thinking he's on the limit that way. This is as fast as he can go. He's trying to stay ahead and he's not making the great game. Has Ryan Clark has got a pick in reserve? I would say yes. I would, you'd think so. I've also heard the words exciting young talent uh, described about Jamie Hamilton. I can see why now. Oh, so the excitement. Yes, plenty of that. And here comes Ryan Clark uh, now. No. He goes right up there. Uh, but there wasn't really a space. But he's definitely showing the front wheel of his bike to Hamilton and saying, I'm the box. Yeah, and Jamie Hamilton a little bit more yeah. in control that time, wasn't it, across four ways. I'd be surprised if he gets him in here. This would be some move into oh. the chicane. Very close racing from those two up the front. They and these three. Style as well, don't they? Yeah. Ryan Parker just showing him the front wheel and trying to intimidate them and make him go defensive. And now, just on speed, as he just pulled out the slip stick there, shoulder to shoulder. That's Motor Grand Prix stuff, isn't it? Banging shoulders like that, but he's done it. Wow, that was unbelievable. That shows how much trust these guys have in each other. There's Hamilton on the brakes. Now he might get good drive out of the turn here as well. Watch Jamie Hamilton trying to pull away. No, Farquhar's got it. Has he? It's going to be some slipstreaming, perhaps, as they go over the line. Wow, look at these two go. Show how evenly matched they are. Oh, and again. Hamilton pulls through past Farquhar. 
Well, it has been a little bit of a procession in years watching Ryan Farquhar going around on these Super Twins all by himself. Those days have changed, those days have gone. And Whoa, well, look at Jamie Hamilton go now. They certainly have. We were saying there are eight 250s on this entry list now, and there's 40 plus in total. So the other 30 something are, in fact, Super Twins. Yeah, Michael Dillon was one down to uh, down to complete the Super Twin. That's not happened, I don't know why. But Chris Palmer in third place on the 250. Here he comes. It's a name, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? It is. And doesn't it sound so different compared to those uh, singles? A little bit growly, aren't they? Brian Parker in the evening sun then. Yep. Casting a long shadow and trying to cast a long shadow over the man in the first place. Jenny Hamilton, that really mega confident as well, won't he now? The fact that Farquhar got past and then he retook the number one position. He'll think that he can do that again before the finish line. But Parker passes him on the last lap and he'll be able to get him on the run to the flag. I think he really thinks the story is that. Looking back down the field. It was Jenny Cohen. loudest of those 650 Super Twins and this is very close indeed isn't it I was thinking that Chris Palmer has got third place stitched up but I think he's about to get stitched up yeah it's looking uh, as if Ivan Linton and Russ Malford could be oh, yeah yeah I am that's all <laughs> <laughs> as we go this is Stadium coming up is Castletown Corner right uh, through the field there's yeah. that little tussles there as David always. Bell that was number 21 we're back with number seven, the familiar number seven of Ryan Farquhar. Behind 44, Jamie Hamilton, 24, sorry. Got 44 on the machine on the back and 24 on the front. Chris Palmer just staying in front of him. So I'm going to the back of that and it's dropping out for the sandwich. Here it goes. Oh, sorry, again, you do not pass through there. <laughs> we say that in a lot of places. He did not pass through the bomb hole. Here it goes, though. It's time. <laughs> Whoa! You don't pass there either, do you? No. He's not having any of it from the boss, is he? No, he's not. Farquhar should get the drive out of the turn. Super from Ryan Farquhar. Absolutely super from Jamie Hamilton. I wonder if that was a little hand signal there. Get back. Was it not a tear-off, do you think? Well, I don't know. It could be one of... But possibly, who knows? It's absolutely thrilling and fascinating. As you said earlier on, these are so professional and he's uh, lost that unequal struggle, isn't he? Yeah, it looks as if, I mean, all the two-stroke supporters will be shouting and willing Chris Palmer to get in front of Linton and Manford. Oh, Hamilton again, listen to him, listen to that. Can he get the drive? That's what he really needs, isn't it? Is he going to get the run? I don't th I think he, he didn't carry as much speed around as Palmer goes in the fourth place again. I don't think Jamie Hamilton had the speed around that turn then, did he? No, uh, they he were seemed to stop in the turn and then had to get the power back on. Trying to outthink each other as well as outline each other. And that's just how complicated racing is when you're going this fast and this close together. Well, I think Russ Manfred's going to have to settle for fifth place in this one. Who's going to settle for first place? Or I should not say, who's going to settle for second place in yeah, this one? Like second line, line here, are Right, this is just going to go on and on and on and on until they wave that chequered flag. Well, Ryan Parker has proved his point countless times in the Super Twins, but this really does underline it, doesn't it? Chris Palmer looks very strong, of course. You're right, I think uh, fifth place is uh, now just dropping up the tail end of that. These two. Oh, no. <laughs> so close again. So, so close. And uh, it's still close here, side by side. Lee Vernon and Jay. <laughs> Get over 100 miles an hour as well, the guys at the front. So, back on board with Jamie Hamilton, looking to find a way past Ryan Farquhar. It's the fastest it. path of the circuit. We go from one bike to another. This is the view from Farquhar side by side. He could reach over and turn his engine off if he wanted to do that that close. It's Farquhar, though, and you've got the fancy Farquhar is going to do it from Jamie Hamilton. I've lost count of the number of places where you can't overtake where these two have overtaken each other now. Oh, here we go. It's a drive here, actually, Hamilton, this time. You really, you can hear him breaking. Screeching in, here they go across the line. 
Oh, what a result it is. Oh, Unfortunate for Jamie Hamilton, he tried, but it's Ryan Farquhar who knows he's been in a race. We're back with Jamie Hamilton, second place, but wow. That was certainly super, super oh, swift. Oh, Palmer's got him. Chris Palmer's got him for oh, third wow, place. Is he? Oh, he, yes, look at that. Oh, well, I'll bet I'm the only one that now that wishes that had gone on for another 10 laps because Chris Palmer really wanted it to finish right there as he picks up third place on the 250. Vindication, I'm sure he'll think that is. Yeah, and lap records as well. I think in all fairness to Jamie, he could have passed me at any stage, you know, or just I rode as hard as I could and he just, I think he just settled in behind me. And, uh, you know, it's not a win for me, but like I say, you know, it, it, it's a hollow victory really, you know, but uh, we'll see, I think there's something wrong with my bike, you know, just I was struggling with acceleration, but uh, it would hardly for, for fire up before the start of the race, you know, if a notion was burned a valve or something out, but I'll take a look at it tonight, we'll do a leak down test and see if we can find out what the problem is with it. I'm a wee bit annoyed, you know, just I think that, my, that race was mine for the win and um, I just missed the gear coming out of the last corner and lost that wee bit, you know, I thought I could have I drove Ryan to the line, but that's how it goes, you know, that's why Ryan's uh, the legend he is, because he, he wins them races whenever everyone else makes some mistakes, you know, and um, just hopefully it's dry tomorrow, I can have another go and we'll go out there and try and get a win under my belt. And Looking at the way you crossed that line, that <laughs> meant a lot to you, didn't it? I, it really did, you know. I, as I say, this meeting's probably my last 250 event here, and uh, I made a mistake at Balabeg Airpin. I went straight on, let two of them pass me, and I thought, that's it, I've had it, you know, I'm fifth. And uh, I was really disappointed with myself and, and letting everyone down, and and, uh, and it just it just came back to me. It just, it just I got back into a flow, and uh, I think one of the guys' bikes slowed slightly, but then he came past me again, then I got him again, and the last lap was just pure banzai, like, I mean, probably riding harder than I should, you know, but... But uh, to take a podium on the bike against those two 650s, just mint, fantastic.